Hey, tools! What are you doing in my lawn? I'm Ben the Lawn Guardian, and this is LT Turf. So Ben, if you came home one day and all of your grass had been stolen, what would you do? It depends on which area. If they stole the backyard, I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put rock in the backyard because no one wants to mow this thing anyway. And if they stole it back here, props to them for stealing grass on a slope like this. Now the Bermuda's a different story. I work too hard, but most people think that's a weed around this place, these parts, so. If they stole the front yard and started, and I started from scratch, I'd plug the Bermuda and fill in my front yard with all Bermuda. The whole front yard? Oh yeah. Oh, he likes the yeah. alpha grass. The shortcut's uh, second to none. I think those are fighting words in some circles. Uh, so this is the main portion of my front yard. Nice, uh, cool season turf. This is just a blend of uh, bluegrass, rye, and tall fescue, mostly tall fescue. Um, this area right here, including the strip right there, is about 1,400 square feet. My wife and I take real good care of all the uh, garden. We love this time of year the mums, and uh, we just we you know we take care of this. I mow this is what I mow at three inches, and then right here, uh, this is a red maple. It's pretty diseased and terrible, but it's doing much better after a lot of help from uh, John Perry, who's given me some advice on how to use some of their liquid fertilizers to help bump this guy back into shape. Um, she's lost a lot of limbs, seen a lot of better days, but I think she's coming back. So let's head over to the side part of the yard. This is where the slope starts to come down. This past fall, I did some sodding and seeding over here. Uh, this was a lot of dirt, but we are filling in nicely with the sod and the seed. This side slope is just a little, little nugget, of, a little taste of what you're about to see in the back. And my favorite part of the lawn, this is our uh, common Bermuda. Um, mowing this with the manual reel at about an inch and a quarter. Um, really happy and proud of what we've done with this area. My neighbor dug up the big Bradford pear that used to be there, dug out the stunk, and then I plugged that whole bare area. Um, I mean, it was a giant circle, um, probably close to two, 300 square feet that I plugged with probably three, 400 Bermuda plugs that I got from my strip right here. But I am loving just the, the, tightness of the common Bermuda. Just ignore that clover there, but you didn't see that. Um, but everything's going real good on this side. It's, it's, we're dropping into fall right now, so the Bermuda is getting ready for bed because Bermuda just doesn't like that cold weather. So off to the, the lo and behold, the favorite part, the beast. Okay, Ben, if you could pick any celebrity to take care of your lawn for two weeks, who would it be? Morgan Freeman, because he could narrate the crap while he's mowing it. 
So you'd make a YouTube video? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. ah, okay. That'd make a good yeah. video. All he right. can make any story sound amazing, so... And he might, you know, he might enjoy mowing the grass. I don't know. <laughs> what is your dream mower or other piece of lawn equipment? Swordman. And I'd say I'd always, I've always wanted to try a Time Master. Never tried any one of those. So I guess I'll go with those two. What's your dream car? Ferrari F50. Guys, if you like that truck, we are giving that truck away right over at turfandtools.com. We have a ton of gear over there for you to pick from, and every $10 you spend gets you an entry. Oh yeah, guys, so if you head over to the website, turfandtools.com, what you're gonna find is our lawn care landscape documents, some of our training camps where we deep dive into your company, into your numbers, um, and then also you're gonna find some green touch industry racks and equipment, but most of all, you're gonna find some awesome apparel, kind of like this hat I have on here, this hoodie, that hoodie, that hat, but most of all, you're gonna find some apparel by Lawn Tools. So Lawn Tools is our newest ambassador. They're over there, head over there, give them some love, show us some love, and get yourself an entry into this giveaway. So guys, hit the description down below, turfandtools.com, and we'll see you over there. Welcome to the beast, folks. A 24 degree slope of just god awful lawn. Uh, I do what I can back here, try to keep grass growing. It's, uh, again, a mix of everything. There's a lot of perennial rye, there's a lot of fescue, a lot of bluegrass. Um, but it is pretty terrible to mow. It thins out all year long and I always have to uh, reseed it every fall because of the dense shade from these awful oaks above us. Don't get me wrong, I love my trees, but when I'm trying to grow grass, I hate trees. Um, and then we deal with our fair share of moles. In fact, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a big pile of dirt in my neighbor's lawn that is from a mole. This is an area I seeded this past fall. Uh, this area gets really, really thin by the end of the summer um, because it, it is closest to the wooded area, so it gets uh, little to no sunlight, and I just have to reseed it and kind of let things fill in naturally and go from there. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it is a lawn. So I do enjoy mowing it. I double cut this bad boy every time I cut it. Double cut, that's where you gotta do it. All that single cut stuff, that's not where it's at. It's all about the double cut. And when I'm feeling a little, a little uh, risky, I go straight up and down this buddy. Yeah. Oh, and my secret tip to this, mowing this backyard, let me go get that real quick. Gotta lace up, folks. All you former athletes out there, just when you thought you had to hang up the cleats, oh no. When you got a slope like this, you get to feel like you're getting back in the game. So, the cleats are what make mowing back here with ease. I can mow straight up and down without a problem, because if you do not have these on, your feet will slip and it's a, just a disaster. Um, now I know you guys are saying, Ben, you shouldn't mow this straight up and down, that's not safe. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's still fun, okay? Um, I still do mostly horizontal and then I'll do my double cut going like at a 45 or 30 degree angle. Um, so it's not always up and down. So you guys will probably thumbs me down now since I said I mow it up, up and down, okay? Just chill out, it's okay.
All right, guys, so uh, this is my, my daily drivers on the lawn. I got the, uh, the mower that controls my alpha grass, the Bermuda over there, courtesy of Coven Carlson, local St. Louis LCN. Uh, he donated that to me. He's, he's one of the, I'm a charity case pretty much, so. Um, and then we got my trusty Honda HRC 2116 with your lo and behold LCN uh, sticker and just so people know when they drive by who's dominating them. Love my Hondas, they are a fantastic mower. This one's actually been in my family for quite some time so it's got a little sentimental value to it. So I keep my my cool season turf at three inches with this, uh, both the front and the back on the terrible beast. And then, you know, I tighten up those edges with my Echo GT225 curve shaft with the custom head attachment. Um, love these, this machine. Uh, it's always a pro quality piece of equipment that's easy for homeowners to use and to buy. And they're reliable. And this has been in my wife's side of the family. This is my grandpa's blower. So another sentimental piece of equipment. A good still BG55. And uh, for my weed and liquid fertilizers, I use my Sprayers Plus YT25E battery powered two gallon backpack sprayer with the fan tip nozzle. Um, this is a great piece of equipment. Love that sprayer. And you asked me, didn't you ask me what lawn tool I would, no. I asked you in an Instagram post what tool you would be if you were a lawn tool. And I believe I said I was going to be a pro plugger. I love this thing. This helped me make that Bermuda fill in that entire area. So this is a great tool. And your trusty cultivator garden weasel for just, uh, you know, seeding those bare spots and breaking that soil up so that's my my squad here my lawn squad that I take care of this lawn with what's your favorite YouTube channel other than your own uh... <clears throat> oh oh I guess the lawn tools yeah oh yeah, yeah. no that's a good, <laughs> yeah, a good yeah. choice so Ben, some people may have noticed watching your YouTube videos and may not have heard the story. So we want to know how did you get the scars that we see on your legs? Yeah, so uh, it's it's not something that is uh, personal. You know, it's something that is a, a pre, kind of an inside joke for me and my friends and family. But when I was six, 16 months old, I climbed into a sink and turned the hot water on and burned 40% of my body. So um, I got scars in my legs and my arms and my chest. and. Um, yeah, it's never stopped me from doing what I wanted to. It's obviously been uh, something that people recognize, but are, it's always, I always find it funny when family or, for, or when I meet a friend and they they're not they don't know what happens, so they take forever to ask me ask what's going it. on because they think it might be something really personal, which I understand that because maybe some people would have some real you know something serious that happened to them that it still affects they them. Let's so, talk about yeah. yeah. So that's what happened. All right, guys, you've seen my tools, you've seen the real low Bermuda, you've seen my front yard and the beast. Now it's time for you guys to get off my turf. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Welcome to the beast, folks. Quiet, please. <laughs> Out of the shot. Here it comes. Take it here. 